Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. Hi everybody, today I'm going to play G.I. Joe the deck building game. It's by uh, Renegade Game Studio and uh, the author I believe is T.C. Petty III. Um, in this game, I never played the Transformer game, just uh, so everybody's aware, but I have played a, uh, quite a few deck builders such as Dune Imperium, um, Shadow Run Crossfire, etc. So we're going to go through the setup for a solo game and we're going to uh, start off with doing a mission uh, what's called known as mission one and uh and we'll see how how uh how things go uh so before i set up the first thing i'd like to do um when i play and this is kind of just my own rule is i lay out all the leader cards and then i roll all the dice and then starting at the top we'll count down based on uh, how many stars so i don't know if you can see on the dice here we've got six stars so i'm going to go one two three four five six and this is going to be uh, my leader for the game all right, so that out of the way. Uh, we're just going to do some very quick setup. Uh, the first thing that we do is we're going to pull out two mission cards from Mission Scenario 1. <clears throat> you know what, I'm actually going to do it in reverse order that the book says. And uh, we're going to just shuffle up the Mission 3 cards. And I'm going to pull two of those out. And then we put the... <clears throat> sorry. I'm going to put this on top, um, sorry, on the bottom. So I've got the mission three and then the two. And the reason why I do this is I, I don't like to see the, the cards that I draw right away, um, just when I'm playing solo, because it I like to flip it, it over in a certain order. So I'm going to take uh, mission two, final objective, final scenario, and put those there. And then I'm going to throw down the mission one, final scenario, and take again two cards from the mission here. Uh, I'll go like this here, these two. Okay, and then we can set aside the rest of the mission cards for this game. Uh, when we play a solo game, this uh, this counter here uh, starts on the text side. I, I believe I'm playing it right when I do that. And we also have a reserve uh, locations where I can reserve one card. I haven't shuffled the main G.I. Joe stack, so I'll do that very quickly. And it's only me here. I don't have a video crew, so I'm trying my best. And I'll try to show you my hand and the cards as I play them. Uh, in the in the deck, in the stack, we have the service rifles, and then we have six other cards that get uh, played out. Um, and then we also have the uh, level one complication cards. And those cards, I'm going to I'm just going to put here right beside the mission. Uh, my leader for the game is going to be Flint. Uh, Flint and this card here uh, goes like that. Now, something I forgot in the solo game. We take out all of the other leaders. I've only played this a couple times so far. All the other leaders actually go into the deck in the solo game and become an option for purchase. The object of the game is basically to get to the uh, the end of the third uh, mission, so the third card of the third mission before you die or perish, uh, your team fails. Okay, so we'll give this another shuffle or two. And then we'll lay out our six cards. I'll explain the game as you go, so if you've never played this before, uh, it's it's probably a, a great way to learn, actually. So uh, I'll explain everything, you know, how things work, and, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to have our, our deck up here. I'm going to put this down here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, uh, Flint actually is going to go into my um, the starting cards that we have. And every uh, G.I. Joe starts with uh, the, the same nine cards here. So they've got six G.I.s, and they got a defense, a comms, and a second, second effort. And into that you're going to place your leader, you shuffle those cards up, 
And then you're going to draw five of them as your starting hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I always like to set my deck up down here like that. That's how I tend to set up uh, set up the stacks. Uh, this this Flint Leader card off to the side here uh, will only come into play if I buy him or purchase him. Okay. Uh, the first mission in this is this mission here, which is Uncover the Double Agent. So it's a story mission and a group mission. Uh, the group mission's important if you play multiplayer. Uh, other people can join, other players can join. Uh, but in a solo game, that doesn't happen. All right, so what we're trying to do, Cobra has sent a double agent right into the Joe's headquarters. Will the Joe's be able to find this agent of chaos? Now this, uh, some things on the, on the cards here is this tank symbol means that it's kind of a land battle. This means that there's two complications that get added. At the end of each round, I'm going to draw a complication. Now, at the end of the round, doesn't trigger until this is on the other side at the end of that round. And this is the success. I need four stars to beat the mission. And I can use uh, recon and stealth uh, skills to help me out uh, with this mission. So that card is going to go face up here. And you know what? I think it may be better if I go like that. And then the two... Uh, Like this, the two complications I'm just going to add right here, and they can just come from the, the top of the deck. I'll put the reserves over on this side because that's less critical for you guys to see that. Okay, we also start off with six, uh, six cards, and the first one I have is Roadblock, and these kind of go in a fixed order. Then I've got Deep Six. Now, the cost to buy a card is up here, so it costs me five. And when I have him in my hand, he'll give me two recruitment points to buy further cards. And here's the skills that he has. He has Recon and Vehicles. Re uh, recon uh, is also part of this Uncover the Double Agent mission. So that would be a, a Deep Six would be a good guy to get. Next, I got a, a Gear card, which is Scuba Gear. I've got... Uh, now some of these cards in the bottom, they may say solo, and if they do say solo, that means that I won't be able to use them this game. Okay, I've got Cover Girl. The other one was You Called for Backup. That was a utility card. And then I got Leatherneck. So I pretty much have mostly Joes here in my, in my starting lineup. For the very first turn, uh, the, after you uncover your secret uh, mission, the very first thing you do is you get a, to do a, a buy phase first. So, um, this, th these are the cards I have in my hand for this round. So I got two GIs, I got a second, I got all my special cards here, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's how it goes. So, um, this, these, ha these, uh, starting cards have basically no, um, they have no uh, value for recruiting, uh, new cards. So what I'm going to do, um, I believe Flint has vehicles and tracking skills. So be based on that, um, I think, I, I think I'm going to take out this you called for backup because it, it says add one cart Joe from your hand to, to a teammate side mission during their turn. That never happens, so. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that card out. And I'm gonna do that through my comms ability. So the comms says choose one. Discard one uncovered card from the lineup and replace it. Okay, so that's that's what I've done with the comms. Uh, the diffused, I don't have any side missions going on right now. And again, this is just the buying phase. So I'm gonna just try to get a, a, a cheaper card and I didn't manage to get one. So I could buy a service rifle, and the service rifle gives me two recruitment points, and it says if this card is part of a side mission, you gain a, uh, an extra wild skill. Um, I don't usually buy these, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how good they are, how bad they are. Um, it's when I first started out, the rules didn't actually save to put these in their own deck, so I assumed that they were part of the main G.I. Joe deck. Uh, but they're, they're not. I found that out online through the Board Game Geek web, website. So, you know what? what? What the heck? I'll buy a service rifle. I've never, don't usually buy one, but I'll buy one this time. Okay, so that's uh, that's all that happens in the first turn, um, is I just get a, a free free buying round. And it says at the end of the turn, I go into solo. And then this uh, turn track kind of goes up by one. If this ever reaches the top, 
then I will be in trouble. Okay, so, and now I'm going to, I flip this card. So uh, the next thing that happens is I'm gonna draw five more cards. Uh, any cards that you buy go on the top of your deck and you always spend all of the cards that you had. You can't carry over any cards from, from round to round. So one, two, three, four, five. Those are my five cards here. All right, and now we can start. Now I could immediately uh, try to launch in and the, the only uh, mission I have right now is uh, this Uncover the Devil Agent. So I could try to launch in and do that. Uh, every Joe that I send into the mission gets one skill and, and I can pick, it's basically a wild skill, not a wild skill, but one skill and I can choose the skill that I want to use uh, for it. Basically each skill point gets you a, a die to, to fight uh, this. Now the Baroness, if the Baroness comes into play, there's there's a various uh, of the different cobra leaders and the baroness says that she needs four so first of all it's a she's an officer this is a group mission so in a multiplayer game you can all join in to try to beat her uh, she needs four successes with stealth and tracker and it says story missions must be started by a leader so if she comes into play i'm gonna have to get uh, flint out in order to go through any story missions. I don't really like that. I think the Baroness comes into play on this card no matter what. Uh, it's not a side mission. I would really prefer to buy, uh, to buy um, because, because of this mission needs rec recon and stealth and the Baroness needs stealth and tracker. So I think I'd really prefer to buy something with, with stealth if I had it or, or recon. So I can, uh, buy, I, I can buy deep six because of my service rifle. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six recruitment points, or I could put in my, my better version of Flint. Only if I had Flint in my hand, I do have Flint in my hand. Oh, Flint has vehicles. If there are two or more transports in the hangar, target player draws a card. Um, so that's Flint's ability and the rest, sorry, the rest are GI Joes. So I've got three Joes, I've got a, a Flint and I've got this basic service rifle. I think I'm going to not attempt this mission yet. I think I'm going to wait a turn and maybe that's the wrong thing to do, but I think I'm going to, with my six points, I'm going to buy deep six. So that's going to go onto the top of my deck. I've got one more point available, but the card I drew was Lightfoot. So that doesn't happen. So these are going to go to my discard pile now. And now we trigger actually end of round effects. So the first thing that we do is act any penalties from the story mission. And this story mission says at the end of each round, draw a complication. Well, <laughs> nothing I can do about that. So I have to draw another complication. Then we go into card effects. If there's any other card effects, there isn't. And then we go into the threat meter. The threat meter says at the end of the round, while we're in green, to move this up by one. And then in stage two of the end of round, it says to move it up one more. So that's where we're at. And then I flip this card again. And then I'm gonna draw five new cards. So I start off by drawing the two from the top of my deck. I don't have any more cards in my draw pile. So because of that, because of that, I'm gonna shuffle my cards again and draw three more. Oh, at the end of my turn, I could have reserved a card. I, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna pull out one of my GIs that I had because I had six and I'm gonna reserve a GI. So I've got just a little more strength maybe for my next mission. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And then at the very start of my turn, I take any cards I have in reserve or the one card I have in reserve and I add that to my hand as well. So end of round effects will not happen because this is on the, the text side of the, of the card. And this turn, I managed to pull deep six, which is great. I managed to pull flint. And I got some multiple GIs here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to under, un, uncover the devil agent. All right. And when I go on a mission, I can, uh, the only, uh, the only utility vehicle I got right now is the vamp. It's a starter mission. And this always goes back to the hangar, which is up here. Uh, it says after the mission, we always return the vamp back. The, the vamp carries four guys. It doesn't give me any benefits in combat or anything, but it lets me carry four guys into uh into whatever mission i'm trying for so i'm i'm gonna do that and i've actually got five joes here <clears throat> but so i can only bring four of them okay so i'm gonna start off by bringing deep six and i'm gonna do that because he's got three recon recon and uh on this card it it, it needs recon recon so I, this is gonna give me three dice for deep six 
Now on the bottom it says plus two wild skill, but that is only if the mission was a C mission, and it's not. It's a it's a tank mission. So that's three dice for deep six, and then um, I could bring in Flint if I want. He might be better when the Baroness comes out next turn, uh, even though she doesn't use vehicles. Um, I think I may keep uh, Flint out of, out of the mission because he, he Flint because his his skills do not match up to recon or stealth. I only get one one extra draw for him, so I, I think I'm just going to use three Joes plus deep six, and I'll hold on to these two cards for now. So each other Joe gets me one die. So I've got six dice total, and I don't have any type of rerolls for the mission. I've got to get four successes to beat the end recovery of the double agent. Okay, and I got two, four, six, seven. I, I rolled really well that time. So I beat the, the skill of four. So the first thing that happens is when you succeed, you, you trigger the success things here, and it says minus two to the track, and, and put the bear, oh, hold on. Before, I'll keep my roll, but before we do anything further, we also have to uh, we have to do these things, these complications. So story, you know what, I'm going to have to re-roll. It says captured. Discard one Joe from the mission. So I'm going to take a regular Joe. <clears throat> I can't, once I reveal these cards, I can't add more guys into the mission here. This here is a, is a, is a side mission it's a precision strike um and so this is going to stay beside me um and i'm i can only have two of these kind of precision strike cards in front of me at any given time but it's going to trigger it, it sticks around and then at the end of my next turn i'll fail the current story mission and discard this card so when this next turn when i flip this over that's going to trigger i believe i've got the the timing of that correct okay so that's uh this this complication is now used um, the disrupt the drone strike doesn't affect the actual the battle here and this says add one cobra battalion this is we've got company it's a complication add one cobra battalion to the leftmost uncovered card in the lineup when these battalions when the sixth battalion comes and blocks all these cards that i can buy that's another way to lose the game um, and then it says immediately resolve and draw and resolve another complication. And now I've got a Rattler attack. So again, this is another precision strike. So that's going to go in front of me. All right. So I because I had one fewer Joe, I'm going to actually have to re-roll this. And I've only got five dice to play with now to try to un uncover the double agent. Okay. I only got three successes this time, so I'm going to have to bring this back up to two. Okay, because of that, um, I didn't succeed. So uh, this says put uh, plus one to the, the tracker, and the Baroness is now going to come into play. Excuse me. So I want to put the Baroness there. The Vamp's going to go back. I still get to buy cards with these here, but not quite yet. Now, the Rattler attack and the drone. So I've got uh, f uh, this card here is now kind of done. And I'm going to put it in the mission fail um, side here. So you've got a mission fail and miss mission success. So I failed that first mission. All right. I still got two cards in my hand, um, which is Flint and uh, the service rifle. So I might as well try to use it. Now, Flint has got a skill of vehicles. And there's not two transports in the hangar. So because there's not two, I don't get to trigger a special ability. But uh, I can add one wild skill with my service rifle. So I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to flip this over. And I, it says stealth and tracker. That's kind of all I want. And it's going to have two complications. This doesn't technically get flipped over yet. But I, it's always supposed to be face up as you, as you, you can only attempt one story mission in a turn because it doesn't flip up to a certain time, okay, in the in the turn sequence. Um, so the side missions I have, this is a group mission, these two are side missions. Uh, it says, this one says at the end of your turn, it goes up one. This says fail the current story mission. So I'm gonna try to disrupt this uh, drone strike. I'm gonna use uh, Flint with a, with a service rifle. So Flint has two on vehicle, sorry, I'll do the Rattler attack. Flint's got two dice for the vehicles, plus he gets one more wild, so I have three dice. All right, so I'm going after the Rattler attack here. 
And Flint fails. So failing, uh, failing these side missions is not a big deal. It just nothing happens. They don't, uh, they don't trigger. Ah, I don't get to remove the card is what I meant. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, two, four, six, seven uh, points. I can't buy the card that has the Cobra Battalion, um, but I have seven points. So explosives and tech. I could buy Cover Girl. I could take Flint's better skill. I think that may be the best thing, Vehicles and Tracker. It's going to help me with the side mission. It helps me with the bareness. And uh, so I think I'm going to buy that. So I'm going to take this Flint card out. And then this guy, this his promoted card is going to go straight in. And I can do that because he was in my hand. I have one, one more point to buy, but there's nothing in here that lets me buy anything there. All right. So that ends the round. So when I end the round, I'm going to flip this token. Now this card kind of gets flipped. And these stay in play. This one says it needs two more complications. All right, and I unfortunately wasn't able to reserve a card. So I'm going to draw five more. The top one will be flipped, promoted. Two, three, four, five. I'm really off to a, a bad start this round. Now notice how I didn't move the, the timer track. I only move the timer track when it's on this side on the so when we're playing the solo game. All right. So I've got comms, which lets me change one of these cards out. That's all it lets me do. And uh, I'm just going to quickly check these just to make sure they don't say solo on them. They don't. Okay, so I've got a lot of things to do here. So I can only I can only try to attempt this. Uh, so this is find the tracking device. It's a story mission and a group mission. To create an accurate signal transfer, Cobra needs to place a tracking de device near the location. The Joes can't let this happen. So it's got two complications and it says to put Major Blood into play. What Major Blood does is he... He's got four marksmen and vehicles. Um, so he's a officer and this is a group mission. At the start of each player's turn, I place one Cobra Battalion on an uncovered card in the lineup with the cost five or higher. So at the start phase, the first thing I do is refill the start, this, this thing here. And because it says to put Major Blood into play, that happens right away. And as, and as soon as Major Blood is coming into play, this is going to trigger, I believe, as well. <clears throat> Anything at the start still triggers. Anything uh, at end of round doesn't. So Major Blood is now going to look for any card, starting here and going this way, that costs five or more. And if it does, it's going to get a Cobra Battalion card. So the scuba gear is now covered. I played this game a lot. I'm in... I think I'm in really big trouble here. <laughs> I've got a lot of things to deal with right now. Okay. So <clears throat> I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to ignore this uh, disrupt the drone strike because it says at the end of the turn, fail the current story mission. If I just go for this mission right away, um, I think that I could just simply get rid of it and then I don't have to worry about the, the, dr the drone strike at all. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, it, it might be the wrong thing to do. Um, I might be better off to get rid of the Baroness or Major Blood because I do have uh, another high high card here. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I just play. I love G.I. Joe as a kid. I, I think I've got four big, huge boxes of everything. The, the military base, lots of tanks. Uh, but I never did get the Wolverine. I think that was the vehicle with all the missiles. That was the one thing I'm missing. Okay, so let's go after to find the tracking device. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. And and I can do that because this uses stealth and tracker. And uh, Flint, uh, the promoted version of Flint, has uh, three trackers. You know, before. No, let's just go for it. So I'm going to I'm going to use all three. <clears throat> and of course they're going to ride in the vamp. Okay, so they're coming out in the vamp. So Flint's going to give me three dice. My other two GIs are going to give me one die each. And of course there's two complications. So let's flip those over. So the one is a precision strike. I can't have more than two. I've already got two in place, so that automatically gets discarded. And then this one says, don't tell me the odds. Story mission, I have to re-roll one hit. So 
Let's go for it. I've got five dice. All right, so I got uh, four, five. Even if I reroll one hit, it doesn't matter. I, I'm still gonna get the five, the four that I need here. So I succeed on the mission. <clears throat> Sorry, and this mission wasn't was a fail. So this one's a succeed. When I do, uh, the tracker goes down by one, and each player draws a card. So I'm going to put one more card into my hand, and this is going to go here into the success. And I'm going to put this out. All I need, all I want to know right now is it says vehicles are stealth. <clears throat> now again, these guys can't be used further this round because I've used them already. The map goes back to the hangar. Okay, and I've got some other things I could deal with. Now, whenever I beat a mission, success with a mission, I can take my Joe and I can, it says discard them, but I like to say retire them, and I'm going to retire my Joe. I don't get to buy, it uses points to buy a card. So let's see here. I have... <clears throat> I don't know. Um, it's a long shot. It's a really long shot. So I could try to take out one of these battalions or, or one of these side missions, but I only have a single Joe. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it... <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try with my Joe and I'm going to try to defeat the drone strike. So I just got one die. I need a double. There's I think only one double on here. So it's a single. So I I, I didn't succeed. So I can't uh, get rid of him. The comms lets me change something. Now, that I need vehicles or stealth. I know that uh these cards don't really give me vehicles or stealth. Explosives tech, I don't do any of that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is take my comms card. It lets me replace something. I can't afford cover girl, so I think I'm going to put her into the discard pile and bring out another card. And I got a halo jump instead. Um, and... I'm going to put this into the reserves and I've got now uh, four points to buy uh, to buy so I can't buy the halo jump I could buy Lightfoot. he's got some explosives but that doesn't really help me right now uh, I'm not gonna have a discard pile so buying the the, uh, the smart missiles not really a good buy right now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy Leatherneck and put them on top Okay, these all go to my discard pile. All right, so now the now we go into end of round effects. <clears throat> so this card, remember, has not been revealed yet. So uh, the dis the drone strike doesn't kind of goes off, but it doesn't have anything to trigger because uh, the story missions it has already been dealt with. The rattler attack, however, does say at the end of your turn it's going to go up one, so that takes place. And that's all so far. Okay, so now this now we got to go into the end of round. So it says story mission. Uh, there's no there's no story mission things here. There's no other card effects. There's no threat. The threat meter says to move this up by one, and then it says to move it up by another one. Okay, this is gonna flip. This card now actually fully comes into effect. This says here it's rescue the scientists. The scientists responsible for the mass device technology should know how to counteract its effects. But the scientist is in Cobra's clutches. It's an error mission, and it needs. Uh, it says add complications to this mission equal to the number of players. Well, there's only one player, so that, that complication goes there. At the end of each round, each player gets gains a Cobra trooper. I'll explain that at the end of the round when it happens. Okay, so I think I already flipped this over. So I think we're good to start the next turn. One, two. Three, four, five. All right. Oh, and I also add my reserve card, the diffuse. All right. So 
Um, I'm going to gain a Cobra Trooper if I don't try to game the, get the Scientist. But I need, because of the Baroness, I actually need to... I need to have a leader in order to even even go after the scientists. So I don't have a leader this time. Uh, oh, I do. Leatherneck is a leader. So I could try to take it out. Uh, recon and vehicles. Uh, so the Baroness has stealth and tracker, and that says vehicles or so. Uh, you know what? This turn and this Rattler attack stays in, in play as well. I could go after... You know what? I could go after Major Blood and I could try to take him out or I could just try to take out Yeah, you know what? Marksman and vehicles. I think I can quite easily deal with Major Blood here. So let's again take the vamp. Oh, at the start of my turn, I forgot to do this. Uh, we have to add a, bat a Cobra Battalion to this Halo Jump. And Spirit and Freedom come out. They're Tracker and Marksman. So that could help me deal with uh, the Baroness. So that might be a good thing. Okay, so again, I'm going to take the Vamp. I'm going to go after Major Blood. So uh, Major Blood, uh, so Leatherneck's going to give me three. It says if the mission fails, I can defeat one side mission I control. So I could get rid of this Rattler attack if I wanted to with Leatherneck. I think that's good. Um, also... Marksman and vehicles. So deep six is going to give me two dice for vehicles. So that's five dice so far. I could throw a Joe in. I will throw a Joe in. So that gives me six dice total. Okay. Going after Major Blood, I need four, uh, four successes. And uh, I get the four. I actually get seven successes. So Major Blood is defeated. He goes back. And... Uh, and if the mission fails, I may defeat a side mission uh, thing. I don't have a, I didn't fail, but it's, I can play this defuse. If I defeated a side mission this turn, oh, that wasn't a side mission. Oh, that sucks. Uh, and the, so all these cards didn't help me. I should have probably went after a side mission instead, but oh well, such is life. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put the second effort into the reserves. All right, so I've got, and this vamp goes back. All right, so I have a total, rec oh, and because it was a success, I'm going to get rid of a Joe. It just helps you thin out your deck. So the co the diffuse doesn't do anything. I have six points uh, total. I think I'm going to take Spirit and Freedom because uh, they have Tracker and Marksman, and I think that's going to help me deal with the Baroness. So... Let's take Spirit and Freedom, and uh, I have one more point to buy if I get a card with one, and I don't. So that is going to end the turn. So even though this is at the end of your turn, it says go up by one, it doesn't happen because I'm, I'm on this side of the card. So, uh, And this says at the end of each round, I gain a Cobra Trooper. Well, it's not the end of the round. It's not until I get to this side. So I'm back into the start. There's no start uh things because we dealt with major blood three four five so i got five new cards and we're on to the next uh, turn all right so um all right i got a, a hand here uh, now when you in this game if you don't seem to get vehicles it's it's a tough haul uh you really need to get some vehicles going um i really like the smart missile and you know in the cartoon and in the comic i really like shipwreck and polly but they're they're not really that oh, it's not not that great of a card i'm going to use my comms to uh discard shipwreck and polly and see if i can get a vehicle and i didn't i got an inspiration card so this can you it technically is played and it just kind of sits here but because it's got no recruitment value i just put it in my discard deck um that's probably wrong but there's probably some effects that that make that a wrong way to to handle things but that's okay all right so i think uh really what i want to do now i could try to get rid of this uh this rescue the scientist card. Um, and I could probably do it mostly with just Flint and a 
one or two GIs. Um, or because uh, so vehicles or stealth, so I'd have to choose one or the other. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to get rid of the Baroness or, or attempt to get rid of the Baroness this turn. Okay, so let's see. I can use Stealth and Tracker. So let's use, yeah, let's use Flint and Spirit and Freedom. So Flint has three on Tracker, three dice for Tracker. And Spirit has three dice on Tracker. And uh, so that's six dice and, and spirit and freedom say for each side mission I control, I get an extra hit. So uh, I get one hit automatically for, for spirit's thing. So that's six die. Do I want to bring in a Joe or, you know, I could bring in one more die. <clears throat> or I could use these in attempt to get rid of this Rattler attack. I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, Rattler attack uses vehicles too. That's okay. I'm going to I'm gonna keep the two Joes here. Oh, I get the second effort that goes into my hand as well. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use these dice. So I'm going to go six dice plus I got one hit and I need to take out the Baroness. Yeah, and I got uh, quite a few hits here. So the Baroness is, is dealt with. So she goes back to her stack. And of course, I use the vamp for that, which which is uh, lets me take four. So that's dealt with there. I didn't have to re-roll. So I think I'm going to now try to do this Rattler attack. Um, so each one gives me a wild. So I got two dice to try to defeat it. Plus, I got one, uh, one re-roll if I need it. So I only got one hit. I might as well use the second effort. Let's try that uh, reroll one die. And I failed. Okay, so now I have to buy. I've got three, four, five, six, seven points to buy with. I really want the smart missile card. Um, oh, I'm not gonna have anything in my discard pile again. So um, I'm gonna, I'll get uh, Lightfoot. That cost me three. And uh, that leaves me with uh, four points to buy still. That comes out. Uh, I'll take this one, this inspiration. So that's four or five. Okay. <clears throat> and these go away. I wasn't able to put anything in my reserve this turn, which sucks. All right. So now we activate the end of round effects. And so the first thing... Uh, Activate any penalties from story missions. So this says at the end of each round, I gain a Cobra Trooper. When you get a Cobra Trooper, it's basically just a card that uh, just takes one, uh, he just needs one damage point to defeat it, but it's going to clog up my deck and make my deck less efficient. So that goes there. That's the first thing. So that's the story mission effect. Then we go into card, uh, card effects. So the Rattler happens and this pushes this uh, track up by one. And then the threat meter says, at the end of the round, gain a Cobra Battalion. So Hawk is going to get filled up. And I'm getting dangerously close with the battalions. And then uh, the threat meter goes up by one. All right. This is going to turn around. <clears throat> I'm going to draw five cards. So here's four. Now, this shark here, if I purchase the shark, the shark doesn't immediately go uh, into my hand. Instead, or onto the top of my deck, I believe as soon as you purchase it, let me just check the rules here. I believe as soon as you purchase a vehicle, it goes straight into the uh, hangar for anybody to use, including the, pers uh, the next person, I guess, that bought it. Oh. Now, I haven't played this in a couple of days, so I just, sorry, I just forgot. I don't know if that's the right rule, so I'm just going to look it up while I... Yeah, if you recruit a transport, you put it directly in the, use, in the hangar. So let's say I had bought this by the shark. It goes straight into the hangar. Whoever uses it when they go on a mission with it, it now is going to go into their discard pile. And uh, so it kind of, it, it kind of, you have to cycle that card as soon as it comes into your hand on your turn, beginning of your turn, it goes back into the hanger. So 
<clears throat> the, the transports are really, I think, the key. To, one of the keys to winning this game. You really need to get some transports out to uh, to get things done. Okay, so we know that uh, rescue the scientists. That uh, we need vehicles or stealth. And this rattler attack says that we need vehicles. And this turn, uh, each player who reveals a leader from their hand draws a card. <clears throat> Well, I don't have a leader, so that card's not going to be useful to me, except for maybe to buy something. I'll have three points to buy something unless I, a complication uh, happens here. So I think I'm just going to right away put this inspiration card into my reserve. Okay, well, let's try to deal with something. Uh, I could try to deal with a Cobra Battalion, which says any, any, any one skill. Well, I could use explosives. Um, or I could just take three, uh, three dice and try to get, uh, try to take out the Rattler attack. <clears throat> well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to try to clean up the board a little bit better here. So I'm going to take Lightfoot and I'm going to get rid of, I really would, I only have three here. So I, I know I'm going to buy, that scuba gear works really good with this shark. And the smart missile is pretty good too. Halo jump target player may add one Joe to this mission, ignoring transport capability. It's got a really good uh, recruit value. I'm going to try to get rid of this, and I'm going to use the skill of explosives. So it says if this mission fails, I can defeat a Cobra battalion in the lineup. So either way, I'm going to be a winner here. Okay, so I didn't get my two successes, so it fails. So I can discard a Cobra battalion in the lineup, and I will do that. So that goes back. All right, and now I got two more, uh, two more Joes. So I'm gonna go out and do the Rattler attack on them. So the, they're gonna both get a vehicle skill, I guess, each one. <sighs> Always go in with more force. Again, I was using just the vamp to uh, to go through there. So I I I wasn't being cautious. So I'm gonna buy the shark at the end of the turn. All right, that's the end of the turn. So I'm going to flip this over. Uh, no end of turn effects happen when it's on this side. I'm going to draw five more cards. And I get to bring in my uh, utility card here. All right, let's see what I can do this turn. <clears throat> so I have vehicles and tracker. And I have tracker and marksman. You know, this Rattler attack's kind of been a pain in my behind this whole game. Vehicles or stealth? Well, okay. So I have a. I'm going to play this inspiration card. Each player who reveals a leader draws a card. So let's take another card right away. And of course, it's a Cobra Trooper. Now, if I don't defeat this, it's just it discards, so it, it's it doesn't clog up my deck forever and ever. But again, it's it's a you know I could have drew a way better card there. I do get a reroll here. Um, sometimes it's well, you know what? I think we're just going to do this story mission and let's try to deal with that first here. Yeah, vehicles or stealth. So I'll use uh, vehicles as the thing. Uh, now, so Flint says, if there are two or more transports in the hangar, I get plus two wild skill and I draw a card. I'll make myself the target. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to take, I could take the shark. And he could, he could use the shark all by himself to try to take out the rescue the scientists. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think he's going to go solo. So the shark only allows one. Um, it's not, no, this is a plane mission. This is a sea mission. So that doesn't help. But here's here's how it works. So I'm going to use vehicles. I can use vehicles or stealth. So Flint has three vehicles. He gets plus two wild skill. So that's four, five. <clears throat> this one gets me plus two wild skill. And it's plus one on vehicles. And if it was a sea mission, I also get plus two tech. So I actually have eight dice to deal with the rescue of the scientists with just Flint on his own in the shark. 
I need four successes, and this is how this game works for me. Uh, the more dice I roll, the, the less successful I seem to be. I failed that mission, but I do get a second effort, which allows me to re-roll one die. Um, so that hasn't been used yet, so I'll put it up here. So let's re-roll this die. I gotta get another success, and I didn't. So I failed on the mission, so the, sh uh, the shark actually will immediately go to, well, I'll just bring these cards over here. They're not in my discard pile quite yet. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so I failed this mission. So this mission happens, so it's uh, fail is, minus, is plus two on the track, and each player gains a Cobra Trooper. So that goes into my discard pile, and this goes into the failed part. And I'll flip this over, even though it's not in, in, in uh, play yet. But it'll say put Destro in a play, and it's going to... Oh, and there was a complication. And the complication on the surprise attack moves the threat meter up by one. So that is like that. All right. Now, I could try to take out... So if I don't deal with this, it actually goes back into my, my hand here. So uh, I have Spirit and Freedom. I have to take this Rattler attack out. You know what? I think I'm dead. I just think I'm, I'm completely dead here because no matter what, at the end of the turn, the threat meter is going to go up by one. I have no way to, to bring it down. I really screwed up. I really should have put more... Well... Eight dice, <laughs> eight dice to hit four should have should have probably worked. Um, I think I'm dead. I I think there's nothing I can do at this at uh, this point to uh, to win the game. So let's go like this, anyways. Uh, I'm going to use spirit and freedom to with uh, they're going to use the map, and we'll use spirit and freedom to. It says for each side mission you control, I get plus one hit. Oh, you know what? If I would have used Spirit and Freedom, I would have gotten an automatic hit. Boy, that was dumb. Oh, I couldn't because of the shark had only a capacity of one. So I'll use the vamp, and I'll do these things here. So uh, it's Tracker and Marksman. They don't help. So Spirit gets one die. The Joes get one die. I get one automatic hit. I need one more. I get the hits. So this Rattler attack has finally been dealt with. I could get rid of both of my Joes. Um... I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know what? I won't get rid of my Joes, so I'll just take I'll take Duke first. And then I'll take this smart missile. Uh, so these go in all will go in. I also have this comms which can get let me get rid of one thing. <clears throat> I'll just put it into reserve is the the game's over here so this this hasn't been dealt with so that's going to go into my discard stack and uh, we're at the end of the round so first of all activate any penalties so story mission the story mission isn't in play card effects there's none uh, battalions have no lingering effects then we go into the threat meter uh, the, th uh, <clears throat> the threat meter in the red zone here does not do anything special but then stage two it goes here cobra reaches the top and uh, the game is lost for the Joes. Though they lost in the third. Oh, some yeah. Damn, this was the. Sorry, one thing I needed to do here as well. I uh, just just so you know, when you get into the second act. So we're in the second act um, now because it's got a number two here. When you, as soon as you get in the second act, you take all the complications from Act One, and then you take the complications from Act Two and you shuffle them up and they become the new complication deck so the, the the deck now will be like this and this is where that complication would go all right so that is a miserable failure um on gi joe the card game um it, it was really a a terrible start <laughs> when the baroness comes out uh, major floods out multiple complications failing on the you know missions that could have uh, brought the meter down instead uh, yeah, that eight that eight dice with what one success or three successes. Jeez, it's uh, it's a tough game. Uh, you're at the whim of the dice, but uh, 
I'm hugely enamored with this game and I'm thankful that they've made it. And I can't wait to play it more solo. I love the game solo actually because I can scan all the cards. When you're playing with multiple people, uh, the game takes longer, of course. Uh, you have because you can decide, you know, this player, the player to your left or, or the your right, you know, in order, can we can all choose, well, who's going to go on this mission? Uh, it, it's it's cool, but I, I really am enjoying the solo play of this. And um, anyways, that's G.I. Joe, the deck building game from uh, Renegade Game Studios. And uh, this is Celtic Griffin. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm really going to try to put out some more gaming videos. It's been a while. Uh, just having... <laughs> computer issues. <laughs> uh, it's really hard for me to edit these, uh, these videos. And uh, unfortunately, it, it's, you know, through my laptop, it's taking days um, through this GoPro, um, which is, which is crazy, because I can upload a, a video from my from my phone, and it will just upload straight to YouTube. But uh, through the GoPro, I've got to put it through a through a video editing program. And I, I usually used to use DaVinci Resolve, the free version, and it it just crashes constantly on my computer now. They they made some changes to it, and I just cannot keep it going. So I use another program instead, and that one's just all I can say. It's not DaVinci Photo Editor or uh, DaVinci Resolve. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Take care.